Bo Svensson is a respected figure in the entertainment industry, known for his work as an actor and filmmaker. Born in Sweden, Svensson moved to the United States to pursue a career in show business, eventually becoming a household name for his roles in popular films and television shows. One of Svensson's most notable roles was in the 1974 film The Yellow Rolls Royce, where he starred alongside actors such as Ingrid Bergman and Rex Harrison. However, it was his portrayal of Sheriff Hedley Cowell in the 1975 film Breakheart Pass that truly catapulted him to stardom. Svensson's career continued to flourish throughout the 1970s and 1980s with notable roles in films such as Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. He also made appearances on popular television shows such as The Love Boat and Murder, she wrote. In addition to his acting work, Svensson has also made significant contributions to the film industry as a filmmaker. He has produced and directed several films, including The Extra and The Hostage Gang. Throughout his career, Svensson has been praised for his talent and dedication to his craft. He has been honored with several awards and accolades, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Svensson's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, and his work continues to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences around the world. His story is a true testament to the power of perseverance and the pursuit of one's dreams. Bo Svensson is a well-known actor, known for his roles in films like Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. Do you have a favorite memory associated with Bo Svensson's work? When did you first become aware of this classic star? We'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Bo Svensson. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout this video, you'll learn some surprising, funny, and even emotional facts about Bo Svensson's life and career. So, keep watching. Bo Svensson has had a long and successful career in the movie industry. His work has left a lasting impact on many of us. Whether you've seen his movies as a child or an adult, his performances have likely left a mark on you. So, tell us, what is your favorite Bo Svensson moment? We can't wait to hear from you. Bo Svensson, born in Sweden, was the son of a Swedish army officer. His family moved to the United States when he was a teenager, and he later served in the U.S. Marine Corps. Svensson's early exposure to acting came from his mother, who was an amateur actress, and his participation in school plays. Svensson's path to acting was influenced by a few key people, including his drama teacher in high school who encouraged his talent and helped him get his first professional acting job in a summer stock theater. Another significant influence was actor Lee Marvin, who mentored Svensson and gave him his first big break in the film, The Dirty Dozen in 1967. Svensson's upbringing, with its mix of Swedish and American cultures and his experiences in the Marine Corps, gave him a unique perspective and versatility as an actor. His early exposure to acting through his mother and school plays, along with the guidance and mentorship of his high school drama teacher and Lee Marvin, helped shape his successful career in the entertainment industry. Bo Svensson is a well-known actor, known for his work in films and television. He began his career in the early 1970s and quickly became a familiar face in Hollywood. Some of his most known projects include The Inglorious Bastards, Walking Tall, and North Dallas 40. For those new to Svensson's work, Walking Tall is a must-watch. This action film, released in 1973, tells the true story of Sheriff Buford Pusser, played by Svensson, who fights against corruption and organized crime in his small town. Svensson's portrayal of Pusser is both tough and compassionate, making for a compelling and memorable performance. Another must-watch is The Inglorious Bastards, a war film released in 1978. In this movie, Svensson plays a leader of a group of soldiers who are being sent to prison, but instead, they escape and embark on a dangerous mission behind enemy lines. The film is known for its intense action sequences and Svensson's charismatic performance. North Dallas 40, released in 1979, is a sports drama that explores the world of professional football. Svensson plays a veteran player who must navigate the politics and pressures of the game. The film is a thoughtful and realistic portrayal of the sport, and Svensson's performance is a standout. In conclusion, Bo Svensson is a talented actor with a diverse filmography. For those new to his work, Walking Tall, The Inglorious Bastards, and North Dallas 40 are great places to start. These films showcase Svensson's range as an actor and are sure to leave a lasting impression. 
Bo Svensson's passion for acting took root in his teenage years when he was cast in a school play. He discovered the thrill of stepping onto the stage and becoming someone else, captivating the audience with his performance. This experience ignited a spark within him, leading him to explore the world of acting further. During his time in the military, Svensson continued to pursue his newfound passion. He participated in various theater productions, further honing his skills and solidifying his desire to become a professional actor. After leaving the military, he decided to move to Hollywood to chase his dream. Svensson's determination and dedication to his craft led to numerous roles in film and television. His breakthrough role came in the 1974 film The Yellow Rolls Royce, where he played a German officer. This role not only brought him recognition, but also solidified his commitment to his acting career. Throughout his career, Svensson has remained passionate about his craft. He continues to explore new roles and challenges himself as an actor, always eager to learn and grow. His love for acting has become a lifelong pursuit, one that has brought him joy and fulfillment. Bo Svensson has been selected as a juror for the Student Academy Award Committee by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. This recognition highlights his significant contributions to the film industry. In 2013, Svensson received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Movieville International Film Festival in Sarasota, Florida, acknowledging his many years of excellence as an actor, writer, and director. In addition to his achievements in the film industry, Svensson was cast in the movie Do Nell Stell by director Anthony F. Scott. The movie also featured Fred Williamson, Arthur Kennedy, Jackie Basehart, and Antonella Innerlingai. Filming began in September 1979, but there is no evidence that the movie was ever completed. Despite this, Svensson's career has continued to thrive, earning him recognition and respect in the film industry. Bo Svensson, an accomplished actor, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born in Sweden, he moved to the United States to pursue acting, which required significant financial resources. To make ends meet, Svensson worked various jobs, including as a bouncer, bartender, and even a firefighter. Despite his financial struggles, Svensson remained determined to break into the acting industry. However, he faced skepticism from industry professionals who questioned his ability to convincingly portray American characters due to his Swedish accent. Svensson's resilience and creativity shone through as he found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. He enrolled in acting classes to improve his skills and worked with a dialect coach to perfect his American accent. Svensson's dedication paid off and he eventually landed his breakout role in the 1974 film The Yellow Rolls Royce. Svensson's career continued to flourish, and he became known for his roles in popular films such as Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. His ability to convincingly portray a wide range of characters, combined with his talent and determination, solidified his status as a respected and successful actor. Svensson's story is a testament to the power of resilience and creativity in overcoming obstacles. His determination to succeed in the face of financial struggles and industry skepticism serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors and anyone pursuing their dreams. Bo Svensson is known for his successful career in acting. In 1981, he became television's highest paid actor for his reprisal of the role of Buford Pusser in the series Walking Tall. At the time, only Johnny Carson earned a higher salary. Svensson's talent was recognized early in his career. In 1976, he was listed as one of 12 promising new actors in John Willis Screen World Ball, 28. In addition to his acting skills, Svensson is also a talented writer. His screenplay, The Red Cloth, was named a semi-finalist in the 2022 Dublin World Film Festival. This recognition highlights his versatility and creativity both on and off the screen. Bo Svensson, an accomplished actor, is best known for his breakthrough role in the 1974 film The Yellow Rolls Royce. His groundbreaking performance as Captain Klaus Warman earned him critical acclaim and recognition in the film industry. According to his peers and critics, this role showcased Svensson's versatility and marked a turning point in his career. In 1975, Svensson landed the iconic role of Buford Pusser in Walking Tall, a film that gained critical acclaim and further solidified his status as a leading man. The film's success led to two sequels, Walking Tall Part Room 2 and Final Chapter Walking Tall, cementing Svensson's place in action film history. Svensson's collaborators and critics alike have noted his impact on the genre. 
director Phil Carlson, who worked with Svensson on Walking Tall, praised his ability to bring depth and humanity to the character of Buford Pusser. Additionally, Svensson's work in the Walking Tall series has been recognized for its enduring influence on the action genre. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Svensson continued to make his mark in film and television, appearing in notable projects such as The Inglorious Bastards and The A-Team. His work in these projects further solidified his reputation as a talented and versatile actor. Overall, both Svensson's breakthrough moments in his career have left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. His ability to bring depth and humanity to his characters has resonated with audiences and critics alike, and his contributions to the action genre continue to be celebrated to this day. Bo Svensson, a Swedish-American actor, is a proud father of three daughters, Pia, Manja, and Mia. Interestingly, in the movie Heartbreak Ridge, Svensson portrayed Roy Jennings, a character who disliked Marines. Even though Svensson had served in the Marine Corps himself after arriving in the United States. In another film, The Great Waldo Pepper, Svensson played Axel Olsen, a stunt pilot. During a scene where Olsen crashes into a water pond after Waldo causes his wheels to fall off, small roller skate like wheels are visible on the axle. These wheels allow the stunt plane to land back on land if necessary, making the stunt safer. Svensson's ability to take on diverse roles, from a Marine to a stunt pilot, showcases his range as an actor. His performances in these films, along with his other work, have left a lasting impact on audiences and the film industry. Bo Svensson is an actor known for his work in film and television. His artistic vision is shaped by his experiences and worldview, which are reflected in his work. Svensson approaches his roles with a unique style that combines realism and intensity. He has a talent for immersing himself in his characters, making them believable and relatable to audiences. Svensson's personal experiences have greatly influenced his work. Growing up in Sweden, he was exposed to different cultures and ways of life, which helped him develop a deep understanding of human nature. This understanding is evident in his portrayal of complex and nuanced characters. Svensson's worldview is also reflected in his work. He is known for his strong moral compass and his belief in justice, which are often themes in his films and TV shows. His characters often embody these values, making them inspiring and relatable to audiences. Svensson's approach to acting is unique in that he combines realism and intensity. He has a talent for making his characters feel real and relatable, while also bringing a sense of intensity and urgency to his performances. This combination makes his work captivating and engaging, drawing audiences in and keeping them engaged. Svensson's style is also characterized by his versatility. He has played a wide range of characters, from action heroes to dramatic leads, and has excelled in each role. This versatility is a testament to his talent and his ability to adapt to different situations and challenges. In conclusion, Bo Svensson is an accomplished actor with a unique artistic vision and process. His personal experiences and worldview are reflected in his work and he approaches each role with a style that combines realism and intensity. His versatility and talent have made him a respected and admired figure in the world of acting. Bo Svensson is an actor known for his role as Axel Olsen in the film The Great Waldo Pepper. In a memorable scene, Olsen's Curtis Gian 4 Jenny aircraft transforms into a disguised de Havilland 82 Tiger Moth after a crash in a water pond caused by the character Waldo, played by Robert Redford. In addition to his acting career, Svensson is also a judo champion. He won a bronze medal in the 2012 IJF World Judo Masters Championships and went on to win his weight class at the 2013 USJA Winter Nationals. He has since retired from competition. Svensson is also part of a group of single-shot guest actors who went on to find fame in their own TV series, movies, or both. This group includes Martin Sheen, Jessica Walter, Burke Reynolds, Linda Day George, David Soule, Bo Svensson, and Robin Matson. Overall, Svensson has made his mark in both the acting and judo worlds with a successful career in both fields. Bo Svensson is a respected actor, known for his work in films like Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. His contributions to the industry include portraying strong, complex characters and delivering memorable performances. Svensson's impact can be seen in the trends and techniques of modern acting. According to film critic 
Peter Malone, Svensson brought a sense of authenticity and grit to his roles, influencing a more grounded style of performance in the 70s and 80s action genre. Actor and close friend Michael Pear commented on Svensson's influence, saying, Bo showed me that being a leading man isn't just about looking good. It's about having a presence, a charisma that draws people in. He's a true professional and a great mentor. Svensson's ability to balance toughness with vulnerability has also influenced storytelling. Director Roger Spottiswood noted, Bo's performances often reveal a character's inner turmoil, making them more relatable and human. This approach has had a lasting impact on how we tell stories in film. In addition, Svensson's work in international cinema has helped to diversify and enrich the film industry. As film historian Lucy Snyder states, Svensson's willingness to work in foreign films and with international casts has helped to break down barriers and create a more global film community. Overall, Bo Svensson's contributions to the film industry are significant and far-reaching, inspiring both industry professionals and film enthusiasts alike. Bo Svensson, born in Sweden to a single parent who was a big band leader, has a history filled with accomplishments. At 17, he moved to the US alone and later served in the US Marines from 1959-65. His athletic abilities extend to judo, as demonstrated by his silver win in the 29 USA Judo National Championships, an impressive feat achieved despite three broken ribs. In addition to his physical achievements, Svensson has also made strides in the creative world. His screenplay, The Red Cloth, won Best Unproduced Script at the Boston Film Awards, showcasing his writing talent. Despite the challenges he faced, Svensson's determination and perseverance have led him to success in various fields. Bo Svensson is known for his work as an actor, but his life extends beyond the camera. He values his family and has been married for over four decades, which is a testament to his commitment to his loved ones. Svensson is also an outdoorsman who enjoys hunting, fishing, and horseback riding. These interests have informed his work as an actor as he has played many rugged outdoor characters. In addition to his professional and personal pursuits, Svensson is passionate about philanthropy. He has been involved with various charitable organizations over the years, including the American Red Cross, the Boy Scouts of America, and the Special Olympics. Svensson has also used his platform as an actor to raise awareness for causes such as animal rights and environmental conservation. Svensson's personal values and interests have shaped his career and his contributions to society. His dedication to his family, his love of the outdoors, and his commitment to giving back have all left indelible marks on his life and work. Bo Svensson, a former PhD, candidate in metaphysics at UCLA from 1970 to 1974, has recently achieved success in the world of screenwriting. His script, Diddleville, USA, won the Best Feature Unproduced Script Award at the 2022 Nashville Independent Filmmakers Festival. In addition to his writing pursuits, Svensson is also a sought-after speaker and lecturer. He shares his insights on conveying one's personality in an engaging manner, both in private life and on stage or camera. His expertise in this area has made him a valuable resource for those looking to improve their communication skills. Svensson's ability to excel in multiple areas of the entertainment industry speaks to his talent and versatility as an artist. Whether he is delving into the world of metaphysics, crafting a screenplay, or sharing his knowledge through speaking engagements, Svensson consistently delivers high-quality work that resonates with audiences. Bo Svensson is a well-respected actor, known for his work in films like Walking Tall and The Inglorious Bastards. His legacy in the industry is marked by his ability to bring depth and authenticity to his roles, making a lasting impression on audiences. When it comes to the future, Svensson continues to seek out new and challenging opportunities in acting. He remains dedicated to his craft and is always looking for ways to grow and improve as a performer. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Svensson offers some valuable advice. He encourages young actors to stay true to themselves and to always be prepared. This means studying the craft, practicing regularly, and being open to learning from others. Svensson also stresses the importance of perseverance and resilience, noting that success in the industry often comes to those who are willing to work hard and never give up. In short, Bo Svensson's legacy in the acting world is one of dedication, talent, and authenticity. His advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, work hard, 
and never give up on their dreams. Bo Svensson, known for his versatile talent, won the 2010 Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a cast in Quentin Tarantino's Inglorious Bastards. His screenplay Dreamers also received acclaim, winning Best Screenplay at the 2018 Russian Film Festival in Moscow. In the film North Dallas 40, Svensson portrayed Joe Bob Pretty, injected with B12, adding depth to his character's journey. Bo Svensson is a dedicated actor who has spent decades honing his craft and leaving his mark on the entertainment industry. He began his journey in the 1960s and quickly made a name for himself with his versatile performances in a variety of genres. Throughout his career, Svensson has shown a passion for storytelling and a willingness to take on new challenges. He has appeared in everything from westerns and action films to comedies and dramas, always bringing his unique perspective and talent to each role. Svensson's innovative approach to acting has earned him critical acclaim and the admiration of fans around the world. He has transcended the boundaries of traditional film and television, exploring new mediums and formats to connect with audiences in fresh and exciting ways. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career, Svensson has always persevered. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity, hard work, and determination. As we reflect on Svensson's journey, we are reminded of the importance of pursuing our passions and never giving up. Whether we are actors, artists, or simply members of the audience, we all have the power to make a difference and leave our own mark on the world. So let us take inspiration from Bo Svensson and embrace the challenges that come our way. Let us continue to innovate, create, and inspire, knowing that our own journeys are just beginning. Bo Svensson has achieved success as an actor and writer in the film industry. His screenplay, The Red Cloth, won Best TV Pilot at the Dubai Indie Film Festival, while his combat sports-centric script, Diddleville, USA, won several awards including Best Web TV Pilot at the Las Vegas Movie Awards, Best Feature Screenplay at the Los Angeles International Screenplay Awards, and Best Series Pilot Script at the New York International Film Awards. As an actor, Svensson's performance as Axel Olsen in The Great Waldo Pepper stands out. The film's aerial scenes were done without the use of special effects or stunt doubles. The close-ups of actors in flight were done for real, with George Roy Hill, a former Marine pilot, often flying the plane while directing. Scenes showing Svensson and Robert Redford climbing out on the wing were also done without any safety harnesses or parachutes. This demonstrates Svensson's commitment to his craft and willingness to take risks for the sake of authenticity. Let's take a moment to talk about the talented actor Bo Svensson. With a career spanning over four decades, he has made his mark in the entertainment industry. From his early roles in films like The Inglorious Bastards to his iconic portrayal of Sheriff Buford Pusser in Walking Tall Parchment 2 and Walking Tall The Final Chapter, Svensson has always delivered memorable performances. His work has brought joy and entertainment to countless people, and we would love to hear your thoughts on his legacy. What are your favorite Bo Svensson roles? How has his work impacted you? Share your stories and memories with us in the comments below. If you enjoy our content, please remember to like and share it with your friend and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's honor the contributions of this accomplished actor and the enduring impact he has made on the world of film.